A mosque in Peterborough, Ontario, struck by arson and more recently anti-Muslim graffiti found in a Toronto apartment that reads, Muslims go home. Two examples of what looks like knee-jerk reactions that came after ISIS took responsibility for the deadly attacks in Paris. Here in Saskatoon, some fear they could become a target of misguided aggression. It was very scary. I, I tried, my dad told me not to take the bus at first, but then I was like, no worries, you know. Like, I haven't done anything wrong and I shouldn't be scared. Rahman is a member of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Students Association at the University of Saskatchewan. Amidst confusion and a growing list of questions about Islam, a group here made it a priority to host an interreligious symposium. If I was someone who had no, who didn't have a Muslim friend, who didn't have a neighbor, Muslim neighbor or a colleague, I would not have any idea except from what's being portrayed by the so-called Muslims. Free to worship God in my own way. For everyone attending, there seemed to be one common theme, a desire to work towards peace. I hoped that after all those years that we would come to better understand that that is not, ISIS does not represent all of the all of Islam. We need to stand up for peace and talk to people about peace. What kind of world do you want to live in? What kind of world do you want your children to be in and, and raise? If you scratch any religion, Christian, Protestant, whatever, you're going to find the same history somewhere. It's time we learned not to brand people like that. Recently, City Councillor Charlie Clark, too, addressed the heavy backlash some Muslim communities have had to face. He took to Facebook to write a post that in part says fomenting stereotypes and fears that attempt to draw divides between entire populations of people is a recipe for insecurity. Despite some anti-Islamic sentiments, the local Saskatoon Muslim community says it's overwhelmed by the support and is confident that fear will take a back seat. It was very hurtful to see certain things, but I mean, it gives us uh, another chance to come up more stronger. Lena Latifat, Global News.